Hey yo everybody, today the new Wetlands Animal Pack and Update 1.9 officially launched. And earlier today I had a quick overview of the pack, and now we're going to do a quick rundown on what I would consider to be my personal top 4 favorite highlights of Update 1.9. And so, let's begin. My personal favorite new feature of Update 1.9 is the addition of small burrows. Back in update 1.8, burrows were added to the game, and at the time we only had one size, and only two animals that could use it, that being the aardvark and European badger. But now today the new small burrows have been officially added, and they are home for the meerkats, prairie dogs, and the new platypus. I think this is a great addition to the game that leads me to believe they will continue to update it and explore what else can use these burrows in future updates. This update also explores some new water options, rightfully so as it accompanies a wetlands pack. But either way, with the bodies of water you have in your habitats, you can now have the option of adding natural mist and or bubble effects to your pools and lakes. This is definitely an easier alternative to simply just adding in the effect manually. And on the other side of the animal exhibits, you can now change the color of the water in your tanks, which is actually a really cool feature. Like for example, if you want to have your terrapin swimming around in blood red water, well now you can. Secretly, one of the best little features of update 1.9 is the update to the toggle system. Originally, if you wanted to get a guest side view of your zoos, you could simply just go onto a guest or an employee and rename them Tejidcam to get that ground eye view. But now thanks to the update, they've made it officially a part of the game in the toggle system, so now you can just swap between standard mode, free lock mode, and explore mode to view your zoos and projects however you want. With update 1.9, you can now have properly functioning hot springs that both your Japanese macaques and capybaras will use. All you have to do is make a shallow body of water and then add some heat regulators to it to make it all nice and steamy, and then from there your animals will enjoy it as they please. This is a really creative, very fitting feature in the update that I think the fans will love, because lord knows the capybaras will. Despite how this was a smaller update, I did find it to be a great addition to the game that offers even more than I had talked about above, with other notable features like the roaming educators, the new flattened to terrace brush, and even some updating to the visual and audio management of your zoo. This was another solid update, and what I mentioned before were just my personal favorite features, but please let me know what you thought about this update and which feature is your favorite. But other than that, thank you all so much for watching this quick video, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Goodbye.